Back New pod flow man It's been two weeks Since we recorded Feeling yeah. a little rusty We in here We ain't got no topics We ain't got shit We just gonna come off the head And talk to y'all Cause it's been two weeks What's up What episode is this 25 25 What's up Episode 25 Quarter man. century a, Yeah it's a milestone Quarter of a hundred We on our way What's good bro Nigga, Nothing I ain't seen you in I literally ain't seen you Vern in two weeks Yeah Dude went on vacation Yeah man Had a romantic getaway With his girl Oh yeah it was oh shit, snake. It was love, man. It was dope. Had a good time. Yeah, you was posting some dope pictures on IG, dog. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Yeah, man, that shit was dope, dog. God damn it, that nigga what'd Virgil. You, nah, what'd you get into, man? Tell the people what you got into. Don't bore them, though. Oh well, nah, we did. We rode up there for the weekend. We got into. We went to the figure of speech uh, exhibit that Virgil got going on at the uh, at MCA. <sighs> that was the. That was really the main part of the trip, for real. I mean, I like was out there hanging out. Yeah, that was the that was the highlight right there. Man, that motherfucker. That shit look dope, dog. I can't wait to go. I'm hey, going nah, in, please I'm going, go. Yeah, I'm going in August, man. Anybody that's listening, man, go for real because that motherfucker is nasty. It is nasty. Yeah, I'm going. The the but the uh, the rest of the museum's dope too. So like, we got there. Uh, so you did more than just that exhibit. Yeah, because I mean, you know, you get into Virgil shit with general admission, so you get access. Was to it twenty? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yep. And you get access to. So what is the fifty dollar ticket, bro? I was on the website. It was a fifty dollar t- ticket. Because I was gonna buy it. Because I think they said something about it. if the general admission, you take a chance on general admission or some shit. I guess if it's too full or something, you gotta wait until people come out. I have no idea what. They, I don't know. I know they had a. a they had like an express thing like a no weight line yeah maybe that's what it was. Type it was deal. Fifty dollars. I mean, I don't know. It wasn't. If I mean, you buy it, you be looking silly because. We bought our tickets for one thirty, got up there at one twenty, and got in. Well, see, at yeah, well, see, I was thinking about getting that one just because it's a holiday when I'm going. I'm going uh, Labor Day weekend, it so probably, it, might, it might be fat or something. It, you might want to, yeah, you might want to look into. I mean, I don't know because I mean, I mean, still Saturday afternoon in Chicago. I mean, everything's packed already in Chicago as is. So I mean, that we still got in, no issues. You know, it wasn't a problem. But that shit was fire, man. I'm telling you. The way the, the way it was set up, like, you know, Virgil, like, you know, he started with that with the Pyrex shit. So it starts with that. You know what I'm saying? It basically it ends with, you know, like the Louis shit. And all the off white and everything that he did, everything else is in between. So fucking fire, man. So, so he, dope. did he did he have the so he had the Louis, like the display? Like I've been I've been seeing people on IG. I think he did a Louis pop up though. So yeah, nah, yeah. So like them little wax figures or whatever wasn't there. They were nah. That's not. Oh, ah, okay. That was part that's of the pop. That shit was dope. It was. I was looking for it. Yeah, but, nah, that shit but the thing was, was that picture, like, that big ass picture. That shit looked like the LeBron poster that was in Cleveland. That big ass picture you took the the big ass whatever that was. That big sign that you took a picture in front of uh, okay. where dude was laying on the uh, the off white rug. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That was dope, bro. Yeah, that's right outside. That's on. That's outside the museum. That's hard. And they got a big ass. Dude got a big ass black flag uh, in front of the museum. You know, like museums be having a flag post yeah. up there. This is a big ass black flag, and in quotes it says "Question everything." For like, real? Yeah. Hey, he told, <laughs> I was on Amazon last night. They put his uh, book up for pre order. He got. A, did you buy anything while you was there? I got a t shirt. I didn't get the book. The book was there though. Yeah, they got a. He, he got a book. It say uh, he got like I don't know if it, this one was out, but it's like it say like. Uh, Personal collection on the uh, the spine, like mm-hmm. not the spine on the outside, but like the actual pages. They got personal collection in uh, quotations. Yeah, and it looked like it's just a book of like all kind of shit he ever de- done, and it's like a whole bunch of pictures and shit. I was like, bro, that's hard, bro. Nice little coffee table joint. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like ninety. It's on sale. It's one twenty. It's on sale for ninety four. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. I'm gonna have to do it too. Hey, I I, I never like well, you. You just see niggas do shit. You like you keep up with it on the internet. Like, well, you know, Virgil's off white collaboration. Virgil designs Serena cat suit. Virgil do this. Virgil Louis Vuitton. That you never think like all that shit in one spot. You know what I'm saying? Everything that he ever did. I'm like, God damn, dog. Dude is really the somebody of fashion, but I can't yeah, think nah, of who. He's cold, man. <laughs> I can't. Nah, I, he... I was trying to figure out like who is he the this of that. You know what I'm saying? But I can't think of nobody because dude, like you seen the he had he he had a rug that said uh, uh, something along the line. I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember word for word, but Pyrex might have bought a you know they bought a shit ton of 
rugby's yeah. and ironed on Pyrex on the back of them and sold them for seven hundred percent. Yeah, like that's that's the start. You know, he all did the way that too. To, he did. Yeah, that. Yeah. Was, that was dope, bro. Yeah, dude started a lot of shit. You look back at it, like dude had that. I th- I don't know if it was Pyrex or what, but he started that fucking um, the shit with the the old ass like Renaissance paintings. You remember that era? Yeah, like, like probably like 2011 or something. Yeah, dude had that. He just had that one hoodie with that fucking po- with that painting on there, mm-hmm. and then everybody started using paintings on their shit. Like, dude done started a lot of shit, bro. Yeah, dog. he's cold. I love dude. Yeah, man. I really want that rug, dog. <laughs> it was there. I told Mac, I said, there goes Steve's rug. <laughs> hey, now you want to tell Hey, tell that story. <laughs> what? Oh, about the rug, dog. Ah, uh, but old girl. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep the names hey, out of it, man. It's good content. Hey, man. <laughs> so look, man, this rug, this off-white rug came out of Ikea. I hit up one of my friends in, uh, in Cincinnati. You know, we ain't got no Ikea around here where we yeah. at. Yeah, well, they, it, well, yeah, she's in Cincinnati, but I don't think, like, Ikea is, like, not in Cincinnati, though. It's, like, probably 25 minutes outside of Cincinnati. Because I remember the first time I went, I was like, God damn, where's this motherfucker at, bro? <laughs> like, nigga, I thought I was about to go to Columbus. <laughs> but, yeah, and, uh, not like, she was like, you, I was like, man, can you do me, so I hit her up, I was like, man, can you do me a favor? She was like, what's that? I was like, can you buy me, can you grab this rug for me? I'm going to send you the bread from Ikea. She was like, nigga, rug? Yeah, she was like, buy a rug. And I was like, yeah. And she was like... Rug oh. ass on. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, are you serious right now? I'm like, I'm dead serious. She was like, I'm not driving to Ikea to buy a rug. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, in my head, I'm just like, damn, for real? Like, you can't go, I mean, I'm going to throw you the bread. You can't go grab it for I'll throw you a little extra just for the, the trip. But I, but I, but then like I remember, I'm like, damn, this shit ain't in Cincinnati. It's probably like 30 minutes outside of Cincinnati, if right. not more. Right. And you got to think, you know how big that motherfucking rug is, dog? Yeah, nah. It's an area rug. That motherfucker's bigger than her. I ain't know. I ain't know it was that big neither. Yeah, she in like a little Corolla or something, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I just strap that motherfucker to the roof. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that motherfucker's big as fuck. I didn't, I didn't know it was that big. I thought it was, yeah, I, yeah. That motherfucker's a living room rug. That motherfucker's yeah. huge. Yeah, cause I was great. Oh, I was great buy it for her, and then I was like, "Fuck that! I don't want niggas stepping on my fucking rug. I'm gonna buy that shit and save it." Right. But they said it's an art piece though, and I'm in the art, mm-hmm. so I was just gonna buy it and save it and use it whenever I get a crib, use it in the man cave or something. Yeah, I still want it. Like I be checking probably two or three times a week. I was on IKEA earlier this week at work, and that shit they had twelve or thirteen of them left. Like the number just keep dwindling. It was seventeen. I was, go get it. My fuck's Can't high, bro. I ain't know it was that high. My fuck is five hundred dollars. <laughs> How bad you want the rug, man? man I'm gonna have to wait until we blow up on the podcast. Just pay <laughs> resale. Buy, buy resale. Pay resale. I'm gonna just yeah. pay a stack for it. Plus that motherfucker's gonna be you gonna be mad as hell. Somebody drop something on there because you want the steel loading one, right? That's like nah, half nah. White. I want the I want the the the, the blue one. Oh, okay. to say keep off. Oh, okay. That one's hard too. Yeah, the steel loading was. That's not the hardest even now, one. I don't think. That's not that. Oh, it comes out next year. Oh, okay. Everything comes out next year. It comes out in 2020, like out of oh, that whole collection. I didn't know that. But he put that big ass rug out as a part of like an IKEA art series. It's like yeah. him and a whole bunch of other artists put out rugs. Yeah. And his is the highest fucking one. It's $500. Mm. And yeah. they market it on IKEA as this is an art piece. Mm. So that's why it's so high. But there are all the other rugs is $199 and $99 and shit. At the exhibit, that nigga just had all them rugs stacked on top of each other with chairs on them. <laughs> I was like, that's Steve rug is down there. I thought you, I thought you still wanted the, I thought you wanted to still load. Man, them. I want all of them. Wet grass, <laughs> keep off, still loading. The only got blue, one that's blue, yeah, red. blue. That's red. I want all the rugs. <laughs> the whole floor just gonna be off white rugs. <laughs> take your shoes off at the door. Take your shoes yeah, off. Take all, yeah. Take your shoes off, man. I'm stepping <laughs> on my shit. Take your shoes off. But nah, man, it looked dope though, bro. I'm uh I'm definitely uh sliding Labor Day weekend. Yeah, I gotta give you props too, because I I've seen it, but I thought like I thought it was like a little thing, like it was over. So I, I was about to just go and not even hit it up. Hey, that's actually like ever since that, like once I seen that, I'm like, I fuck with art, so why don't I just be going to these exhibits? Like yeah. the uh what's the dude's name, bro? Uh the dude that do the flower with the smiley face in it. Who? You talking about? Uh, uh, the flower with a smiley face. Yeah, he does like the flower. Oh, you talking about uh, Mirakami? Mirakami. Yeah, yeah, he had an exhibit in in Dallas. Mm. 
And Nick went to it, but it's like, bro, I'm about to just start traveling to these exhibits, bro. I fuck with art. It's just ended. Like, it should just take a weekend. Like, all I, I got to do is be there for a day. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and I mean, and they worth it, dog. Like, like this one, like I said. Yeah, that's just an experience, bro. It's dope. Like, our general admission ticket was for one thirty. We probably got there about 12.30. And you could, they give you a voucher where you can go see the rest of it. And, dog, like, this is like. Like it's 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 modern art, so everything in there is like dope for real. Like yeah. everything in there is dope. I actually went to a, we went in one. It was a video, and they had a they just had a. It was like a basically. I'm gonna try my best to explain it because it's really hard to explain. Basically, it was they had uh, ultra light beam playing, okay, mm-hmm. over uh, just different pieces of video. And all the video, like they just pieced together all these different videos, but everything that the videos had in common was. It was all black. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so it was everything from like LeBron dunking the ball to, you know, the police, you know, br- police brutality, like caught on, on on camera, on dash cams and shit like that. Blackface. They had people getting hosed down and and they just had like that Olympic run of that. Oh, no, was uh, this all? This wasn't, this wasn't a Virgil thing. This wasn't a Virgil. This is part of the other. This is just oh, the regular. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just a video. Like you go in there, you sit down, and you you know who's watching. You watch the video, and all this is playing with like ultra light beam. Dog, that shit hit me. Dog, I start shedding tears. Dog, I ain't gonna lie. For real? Yes, yeah, dog. That motherfucker's hard. That sounds dope. Yeah, I, Meg found I mean, it on. It's fucked up, but it sounds dope. Just... It's fu- Like that's the thing. Like it, it was. It was just everything black. From yeah. chicks twerking, they scored it, you know what I'm saying? They scored it with ultralight beams. Yes, That's yes. Hard, dog. They, like from chicks twerking to just niggas dancing. They had a little cut part where they start playing "Teach Me How to Dougie." Niggas was doing the Dougie and shit. And then it, you know, it cut to you know some kids getting you know you know guns pointed at them by cops and shit, which is fucked up. But it's everything black. You know what I'm saying? So that shit was like that shit hit me in a way I ain't expect to be hit. I was like, God damn, I'm in the motherfucking museum crying. I'm glad the lights is out. This motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, that's crazy. That's, I'm gonna send you that link though. It's on because uh, it's on the. Uh, hopefully, that exhibit's still going when I'm yeah. there. I'm gonna I'm definitely hit the whole museum when I go. Yeah. yeah How long the, was you in there? Like total. Well, we probably got there. Like I said, we probably got there about twelve, twelve thirty, and we probably got out about three. So we, you know, bad. the Virgil shit through. sends you. Like I said, they start from Pyrex all the way to Louis Vuitton, then they walk your ass right into the gift shop. <laughs> That big ass, uh, that big ass Jesus album looked nuts. Hey, dog, crazy, it's crazy. And Vern hates. I don't that even album. fuck with Jesus. That <laughs> nigga hates that album. I don't even fuck with the album, but that's that's still a dope ass design, man. All that shit was dope, man. Virgil's, like I said, dog, I don't, dude is nuts. Like he, they, they, he had a, a little thing where you sit in and watch a little video, and he was talking about how he viewed advertising, and like the power of advertising. And the nigga's not wrong. He's one hundred percent right. He's like, you know. He, I put everything in the advertising. And they show all his, like, the emails you get from Off-White. They show, like, you know, emails from back when he was doing, like, Pyrex, Instagram posts and everything. How he looked at advertising. He's like, you know, advertising, it, it drives everything. It drives from the, your decision that you make on what you're going to eat to who's the next president going to be. I'm like, damn, don't you think about it like that? Advertising really drives everything, you know? Yeah. And, phew, like dude's mind's just somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> His mind is somewhere else. Yeah, I fuck with dude, man. I can't wait. I can't wait to hit the exhibit. It's dope, yeah, man. You're gonna enjoy it. Y'all heard Vern, man. You got his approval. Right now, you're gonna get my seal of approval in August. Or say it'll be it'll be a September episode because I'm going Labor that weekend. But yeah, man, what you ain't doing you ain't do shit else, man. I ain't done. I ain't do shit. Well, actually, I've been working on some shit. We got uh we actually about to launch a store, so we're going to have some merch for y'all soon. Steven going in on his Virgil shit. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> shit. I want to be Virgil, nigga. But, uh, yeah, we're we, we working on the store, so hopefully that'll be up in the next couple weeks. We got a nice little tee we about to drop that we think think y'all going to mess with and like. So, yeah, be on, the, be on the lookout for that. We also got the giveaway going on. Uh, I actually fucked up on the dates. Like I said, to end it today. When I said should have said end it tomorrow. I mean, not nah, end it. Uh, y- yesterday and then announced the winners today. So I fucked that up. I got that backwards. So we gonna go live and uh, Vern he ain't he ain't coming over my crib tomorrow. So <laughs> we are gonna have to just do a fucking split screen on Instagram as we announce the winner. 
but it, you know, reality is probably only going to be about four niggas tune in if that. Yeah. Anyway, all in people that that's a lot of fucking comments on there though. It is though. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, that, shout out to everybody that uh, participated and good luck, man. We're gonna draw tomorrow night and uh, you know, let y'all know who won and get those get those uh, AirPods out to y'all. I just wanted to. I, I, you, when you go from the page, you can't see how many comments. We, we got a total of 203 comments on that post. For so, real? I didn't yeah. know it was that many. Yeah, some people posted a whole bunch of times. It was a, it was a lot of duplicates on there. Don't worry. If you put in and you really want to win, if, if there's a duplicate post on there, that's that's automatic disqualification. You know what I was I thinking, dog? that rule up on site. Nigga hey, nigga, fuck. Do I don't give a damn, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas is bots anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what I was thinking about, dog? How pissed would you be, nigga? We gave these AirPods to somebody <laughs> and they never listen to the <laughs> to the podcast, don't know. <laughs> hey, I'd man. be mad than a motherfucker, boy. How, how will we know, though? If you don't know. We don't, man. Nah, you we know. just hope they follow the rules. Yeah, hey. We Play the podcast through the fucking we AirPods. Nah, the we least we, you can do. God damn. Yeah, just listen to us on the fucking AirPods. Motherfucker. I'd be damned. Dog. At least you, the nigga bought you some fucking AirPods. Stig ain't got none. I got the first ones. Yeah, Vern got Niggas some. is getting the second you. ones. The least if, the least you can do is listen to our fucking podcast. Yeah, y'all niggas is getting the most expensive ones. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this is a baby that come in. <laughs> nigga, what are you talking about? That's the, the wireless ones. What are you talking? The Dog, wireless charger? Huh? There's an AirPod too, nigga. That <laughs> <laughs> nigga discussed it live on the pod. <laughs> nigga, there's two AirPod twos. Nigga, there's the wireless wi- charging ones is the most expensive ones, bro. I said that in there. The oh, wireless okay. charger AirPod twos. Oh, okay. Shit, my shit charging right now, nigga. Ain't got no wire on it. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, y'all getting the most expensive one, man. So y'all can at least, you know, motherfuckers. They shit better than my motherfuckers. <laughs> niggas. Y'all niggas is getting better. What's shit? that black shit in there? <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas is getting better shit than we got. Man. So yeah, listen to the pod. Listen to the motherfucking podcast on them. Good grief, man. But yeah, man, what else? Uh, what you want to talk about? Oh, uh, listen. So uh, shout out to uh, my nigga Coop, man. He posted a very interesting article. Uh, about Lil Nas X, man. You know this nigga was uh this nigga was part of uh the Tweet Decking group. You ever heard of Tweet Decking? Tweet Deck. Tweet Deck the app. Tweet Deck, where well, you send a tweet into like I don't know how it works, but like multiple accounts with huge followings retweet it to help your tweets go viral or whatever. And this nigga was running a Nicki Minaj fan club page. Through the Tweet Deck app. Okay. So this nigga built like a six digit following off this page. So he already had this large following before he even made Old Town Road. So when he made Old Town Road, all he got to do with that large of a following is post a link to the song. And, you know, the rest, it, it does itself. So he, cha- so he kept in the same account and changed the name? That that's the part that I'm not understanding the article because the the little the, he's got an account Lil Nas X and then there's another account another account Nas Mirage was the name of the other account but if you take these Nas Mirage uh uh you, you know codes or whatever like the whole Twitter.com backslash Nas Mirage status slash numbers or whatever. You take that and you type it directly into the address bar and you know you hit enter or whatever. The tweet directs you, it, it takes you straight to the tweet and it comes from Lil Nas X's account. And it's a bunch of Nikki fan club shit. Damn. I got a question for you, Steve. <clears throat> Remember when we had Sheridan on and you was like, uh, refrain from being lame. Like, like, what, what would you do? Like, how far would you go? Because you, you fuck with Old Town Road, right? The song's dope, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. How far would you go to? <sighs> how have I asked the question? You remember how I asked it? What would you do? Yeah, to like make us. You said some shit to about us, make us go yeah, viral. Yeah, or yeah. How far would you go for the podcast? Is this is this also outside of the realm? I mean, would you run a 
Meg the Stallion fan page for nah, a few I'm years. Not doing to- that. that, that it's, <clears throat> but I said because I was about to say I know people that like Davin. He had a man. I know people that done turned a uh, like certain pages into another page. Like remember Davin had Goodwood. He just took that and changed it into Premium. And he had already had all them followers. He who did Goodwood? Davin. He, well, not Goodwood, uh, oh, Neck of the Woods. Okay, okay. I'm about to say, God yeah. damn, he had Goodwood too? Niggas. Nah, 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 nah. He did Neck of the Woods, and then he just turned Neck of the Woods into premium, but he had already had all them followers. I mean, not it, it ain't even all them. He probably had maybe 6,000 or something. Okay, yeah. But then but he, he just, just turned it into premium. Yeah. But that's one thing from when you're selling a product, and then you change the page into another product. But it's another yeah. thing, in my opinion. When nah, using that, using it, like doing a fan club page, and then- Turn it into turn it into your personal page, personal uh, artist, your page. artist page or whatever. Yeah. Like that's trash. Yeah, I mean, but, but he's young though. I can't. I mean, I'm not no. gonna knock dude. I'm I'm very happy for dude. He put out a. I mean, I thought his album was uh pretty good. It's a um you know a little EP, seven songs, and I like how he uh dude like he he got two country songs on there or two song. He got Old Town Road, of course, mm-hmm. but then he got a song with with Cardi where he's using that same. Voice with that country twang. Oh, that. for real? Yeah, it's called Rodeo. Then he got two rock and roll songs, and then he got two rap songs, or maybe one rap song. Damn. Yeah, and then like uh, I think he signed to Columbia. They labeled the album as alternative. Yeah. So they they not they not trying to box him in to any genre. They they trying to let him rock how he's rocking. Yeah. But I'm happy for dude though, man, because it's like you know they you know the white people didn't want to accept dude into the to the con- country genre. And um, you know, even though he had uh Billy Ray Cyrus on the track, and dude's number one, what he I think he just broke the record or something, or he tied the record for most weeks consecutive number one. Damn, when did it come out? Old Town Road. Oh, Old Town Road. I thought you said yeah, the no, album. No, 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 the Old Town Road, the single. He's been hot. He's been number one for done. Yeah, he's been number one for a while. Damn, I didn't know. Yeah, man. So he's doing his thing, man. Because they was trying to boycott dude. They was uh, they was mad about him doing a uh, that collab with Wrangler. Like, dude, done got all kind of controversy. Yeah, but he's just a kid. Dude, like seventeen. Yeah, I mean, but come on, man. How you gonna be mad at the man for getting his money with Wrangler? Yeah, who, nah, who, I who's mean, really, come on. The people who really would be mad at that, in my opinion, they don't even fucking know. Well, no, nah, it was like I guess it was the people who, who the fuck flag. with the cowboy culture. You know what I'm saying? What they doing on the internet? <laughs> I don't know Where they last nah, I mean, It was just like, mostly White people bro They was mad about that shit But they just been mad About dude period like, Yeah anything like, yeah, yeah Like how they put the shit Up in Nashville And left him off of it And put Billy Ray Cyrus Like it was his song So yeah Trash. I mean yeah I'm happy for dude But yeah doing that I mean he was, that's some Kid shit to me Like doing a fan page But if you were 16, 17 What would you do? Like you would probably Do the same shit Actually niggas Way smarter than I was At 16, 17 I mean, not that we. I mean, we probably didn't have we didn't have those resources, but even still, I mean, to do something like that, nigga probably don't even. I mean, he and, and, might fuck with Nicki Minaj, but what if he don't? I mean, nigga, yeah, but I don't. Like, yeah, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give him credit though. I don't think that was his plan. Like, you don't, I don't think, think you don't, I don't think, think he purposely? Because I don't long, think he. I don't think he had Old Town Road and the Tuck while he was running nah, the Nicki yeah, fan club. Yeah, page. Nah, I think. I mean, I think he was trying to be an artist at the same time, but. He could be a Nicki fan, but I don't think it crossed his mind that I'm gonna do a fan page, build the audience up, and then switch it over. Like I don't, he probably just made the song and then posted it on there, and you know, I don't uh, know. I'm I, trying, I'm I trying to shoot him some bail. I'm, trying I know, to shoot I'm him thinking, some I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking more along the lines of this nigga's a mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> nah, if, he, if if that was his motive, like yeah, that's cool. Like you, you got everybody, nigga. You number one. You breaking records and shit. But I don't. I, I like I said, I'm shooting bail. I don't think that was his. His motive. It could have been, but I, I don't. I'm not gonna rock with it. <laughs> I, I I don't know. It just. I mean, nah, it's I a mean, good no, article. Nah, I'm, we don't I'm gonna shoot know it to you. Nobody knows but him. But, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna shoot you. Me, I'm gonna shoot out. you that article because uh, it's a good read for real. Because it's like it's it basically they don't they not on there saying like you know this is this is pure fact. They just providing evidence. These two. Accounts might be linked And like you know Here's some evidence Where this Nas Mirage account At one time said That he had a uh, A dream uh, Casting For Danny Phantom And if you click the link It directs you to Lil Nas X Saying that he had A dream uh, Casting for uh, Danny Phantom It's the exact same tweet But it's on the Lil Nas X account So 
I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm going to I'm going to have to say if you run in a Nikki fan club page and you're doing the tweet deck thing where you're getting your shit, you know, you're getting it retweeted to, to go viral. Like, it's all part of something. Like, you ain't doing that shit for no reason. You're trying to build a following. You're trying to build it for a reason, I'm sure. You know, so <clears throat> if that was the plan, it worked. I ain't hating on it. It's, yeah, if that know, was a plan, dude, about to inspire a lot of other people. Yeah, it's going to be a whole bunch. Fan, fan it's crazy because, I mean, th- th- come on. Old Town Road is a fucking, it's a troll. The song is a troll. The account was a troll. Dude, like I said, he probably ain't a Nicki Minaj fan like that for real. You know what I'm saying? And he did the that whole tweet deck and thing to go viral. Like all that that all of that shit is trolling. See, bro, I was just talking about dude being number one. Somebody tweeted, Lil Nas X is a civil rights icon for keeping Taylor Swift from the number one spot <laughs> on Billboard twice. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Yeah, man. Shout out to Lil Nas X, man. Keep doing your thing, young fella. I know you ain't never gonna listen to this pod. Never but, know. Uh, yeah, man. Shout out to you, dog. Do, do, I mean, I, he might have number one album. I don't know if they go off his single shit, but I was on Spotify. You know how Spotify, bro, it tells you the streaming numbers. Yeah. That motherfucker done been, been streamed almost a billion times. God bless. And it's short. Both of them, though. Like, Sheesh. I think like the one with Billy Ray Cyrus is 800 something yeah. million, and then the one with just him is like 700 something million. Yeah. Yeah. The And Old Town Road came out in December last year. Yeah, you so, talk, you told me about that that original one like in March. I the, think. Yeah, so so I mean, just for the remix to jump up as close, you know, close to that one, that's crazy. Yeah, he that's he, the one uh, that the boys do, prefer. Yeah, he need to do it on there. Yeah, yeah, that's the he one. Kills that hook, man. That song still hard. I love that song still. What else you got though? I mean, we ain't got no topics for real, man. We just kind of flowing off, off the cuff. Top. Yeah, we coming off the top. Wow. You watch the BET Awards? Nah, nah I ain't got no ain't cable. Got cable. I ain't got cable neither. Yeah. You nah. seen anything from the BET Awards? Mm, everybody hyping up the Lizzo chick. I, I ain't seen that. I've seen her. I've seen like I've seen that album cover, like the big girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she, yeah. was she a rapper? Or singer? She's or a, yeah, yeah. She's like a woman empowerment rapper. Hmm. Real, you know, my uh, my girl's niece. Is real big on her. She was before the BET Awards. She was like, "Have you ever heard of Lizzo?" And she was trying to put me on. I'm like, "No." Nah. And I didn't want to. She told me she was like a woman empowerment rapper. I'm like, "Damn, you nine? <laughs> she's nine? <laughs> yes, dog. <nine>. Wow. <laughs> she's a woman. That, she's a female empowerment rapper. She just makes. She just makes these songs that make women feel good about themselves. And I'm like, "Damn, damn, they giving her credit for that." Damn. Hmm? Did uh. I just showed you a picture of her before we start recording. Yeah. Jordan over at Googling her. Trying to see what he gonna whack to. <laughs> nigga disappointed. <laughs> this nigga disappointed in the motherfucker. Damn, I ain't know she was. <laughs> yeah, nigga. She's a woman empowerment rapper. Tell, you tell, think she'd be rapping like that? If she tell, went, she looked like Cardi B, nigga. Man, tell your uh tell your girls uh you said it's her niece? Yeah. Man, tell her go listen to Lauren Hill, man. <laughs> We can't say it without knowing what Lizzo talking about, dog. Nah. But Liz, I mean, she ain't the original, though. She's not. No, but I mean, let these no, kids. I'm saying, Laura, sh- I'm saying Lauren Hill. Yeah, she is. But I'm saying yeah, Lauren Hill might not even be the original. That was just, you know, when I was nine. That's who was the women empowerment was was Lauren Hill. MC Light could have been. This nigga said India Ari. <laughs> who said that? This nigga Jordan said. This nigga, she don't fucking rap, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we talking about rappers. Yes, this nigga. I'm glad we didn't give this nigga a mic, boy. It's an India Ire. <laughs> nigga ain't heard an India Ire album. Nigga heard the fucking uh, video song. Nigga, I was about to say, like a star, nigga, that's Corinne Bailey Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I get all the Afrocentric chicks mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> but now I seen that nigga, uh, I seen Offset pop locking. I did that? see that, and that was hard, dog. That was I dope. It was dope. It was dope as I fuck. I thought it was man. dope, bro. Dude was, dude was, uh, and it was cold, huh? He was hopping in and out, though. Yeah. And, 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 and to me, like, because people said it, I thought he did, like, and I ain't see the whole performance, but I thought he did, like, people was joking on him and shit. I thought he did the whole, like, he put his mic down. Yeah, he put his mic down and was just dancing, like, doing doing some Justin Timberlake type shit. Nigga, what if he did, though? That nigga would be out of here. He's cold, though. Yes. Yeah, He's cold as a kid. Yeah. At dancing and a nigga be rapping. So yeah, I mean, that, yeah. nigga, that nigga could catapult himself up out of the Migos, dude, for real. That nigga be the next off Chris the back Brown. of that, right off the back <laughs> of that pop lock, and not nah, nah, that nigga ain't touching Chris Brown. That nigga can do anything. He can. 
Speaking of Chris Brown, though, dog, we ain't get the pod last week when this oh, yeah, nigga was did, going crazy. Nah, no, this shit was hacked, though, fam. <laughs> Come on, dog. This nigga, hacked, this nigga did a move that some niggas wouldn't be proud of, but would probably do. <laughs> there ain't no way you hack or you, you say some wild shit to your ex about the new nigga she with and then just be like, you know, Fair but no, I'm happy I, for you. you and then I, say you hacked. Come on, dog. Niggas get hacked. You they ain't do. never said some wild shit to your ex, dog. Have I ever said some wild about shit? About the to nigga him? she with? Mm. You've had to. Honestly, dog, no. I, I, I'm I'm really thinking hard, dog, and I ain't said. Maybe, I never maybe said. It's just light skinned niggas, man. I, I never. I, I, and you know me, dog. I'm a self deprecating ass nigga, dog. That's what I'm known for. And I ain't never said nothing crazy to none of my exes. You done thought it, that. dog. Come on, dog. You you know you how. You done I'm, seen a nigga, bro, and be like, damn, she with this nigga? Oh, that's that's dude. Yeah, I wanna know. <laughs> oh, that's him. Oh, okay. No, nah, honestly, dog, no. Nah, I I'm the type, dog. I don't even want. I don't want to see nothing. I'm done with. Like, if we done, then that's it. I'm closing the book. I'm I don't want no parts. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, nine times out of ten, I'm probably in a new relationship anyway. <laughs> 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 she stays in a relationship, man. <laughs> yeah, so so no, nah, I don't even I don't be on it, man. Last thing I need to do is see my ex with her new nigga and my new girl walk up and see me looking at the damn picture or something. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's what you thinking about? You want you jealous? <laughs> nah, I don't want none of them problems. God damn. <laughs> but, but I mean, not, he, he just I mean, what he do like? I think so it was he, he just killing. posted. He just posted. It was just two comments, wasn't it? Yeah, because I mean, like you, you heard, like he's blocked on her page. No, I think it was three. He commented on Victor Cruz's he, shit, nigga, right? He went to Victor Cruz's page and comment. You know, Victor Cruz was like, "I ain't blocking that nigga. I want all the smoke." That nigga start getting flamed up. <laughs> that nigga came on his page and started killing that nigga's fit for real. <laughs> yes, dog. That nigga was killing his fit. He can't dress, baby. But I ain't think no. I mean, I thought he just had a sweatsuit. Though. I ain't think no was wrong with his fit. Can you well, hold it down? I'm, I wish we had a guess. Maybe I'm tripping. So I can pull up the damn the images because that nigga was going ham. Nigga was going crazy. But the but nigga, then I, I did see where Chris Brown said it ain't nothing wrong with uh, expressing your feelings to somebody you love or some shit. I, it, he said something like that, right? Like after all that shit. And then he said he was hacked, or did he say he was hacked? Oh no! Like which, just, what came first? <laughs> Because I don't know, the nigga was saying the nigga was wilding, dog. I don't know what came first, but the, the I don't know. I wouldn't do. Steve, I'm scrolling through these pictures and I text thread, dog. Hey, dog, can, can we take a commercial break real quick? All right, we back. Ah, okay, yeah. So, anyway, I got the comments right here. So, just to give everybody a a, a visual. My nigga Victor Cruz got on some gold chains. Then got on a long sleeve Stussy t shirt with the eight ball on there. Classic t shirt, and they can't go wrong with that. Uh, I don't know what kind of pants these are. It's got on some some like some jogging pants, and and a nigga got on some some SBs. So. Okay, yeah, ain't nothing wrong yeah. with Swift to me. What Chris Brown say? Nigga went in. <laughs> this nigga commented with a a disco man emoji. A flame emoji and a tornado. And then the next one said, no shade, boo, but please style him with no E on the end of please. He looked like he's shopping of the mannequin and trying to bargain with the sales manager. Retired wrestler Spanx. I'm fucking around. Good bless. My nigga came back and said, no shade. Give me a gunshot. <laughs> just minor. They <laughs> said just minor. This is. And then the nigga turned around and said, Is it a sucker move to think about your ex? Then the nigga turned around and said, Whoever's fucking with my account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, <laughs> whoever's fucking with my account, leave that page alone. <laughs> No, you can't do it. Come on, dog. Like seriously, nigga said he was hacked. You know what nigga was hacked by? 
Nigga said nigga was hacked by it. And, and white with no two step on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that nigga Jada killed that man. He Shout did. Oh my god, dog. it was nasty. But yeah. yeah. He got hacked, dog. Nigga crazy. You think dog. come on, dog. Bro, that nigga was fucking words up and shit, bro. Nigga was fucking hey, but you know how you be blind angry. You ever argued in a text message? Like you text your chick, you like you mad at her, you you just hitting trying to send a message quick while you know nah, while yeah. shit's hitting you. And then you go back and read that shit. That shit be looking like alphabet soup, dog. Hey, I'm I'm the king of leaving words out, bro. Hell yeah. Nigga be you be leaving keywords out too. Who me? I, anybody. Oh, I'm just yeah, saying, yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I know when I do that shit, I be leaving keywords out. Yeah. Like, you know, and you lucky tomorrow. <laughs> like, what? What the fuck you talking about, nigga? That nigga ain't got a clue. <laughs> uh, what you... Yeah, what so, yeah, we had to stop because uh, <laughs> we we want to talk about, we want to talk about how to, uh, dry text conversations, man. Me and Steve had a good old debate you know, was like, last week. I can't keep up with the damn time, dog, because... We ain't been fucking recording podcasts. Yeah, we been was, on hiatus. I think, I think it was last week, early last week. Thinks, yeah, yeah, yeah so. early last week, like Monday or something. <clears throat> One of our homies had a, you know, they was they went through a situation with a with a young lady. Me, I'm <laughs> homies. Ain't that how to say, bro? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Me, say. I'm homies. Me, I'm homies. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> You want to talk about it, Steve? Yeah, man. Nah, man. This bitch, man. Nah, don't playing. do that. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man. Uh, man, this chick was trash at texting, bro. She said me. I'm on me. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This chick was trash at texting, though. I was trying. So I was trying to, you know, was texting a, a young lady, trying to, you know, just talk, you know, have a conversation. Everything was a fucking one word response. And then she fucking blamed me. <laughs> talking about I don't know how to have a conversation. So I had to hit Vern. I'm like, bro, am I tripping? And this nigga Vern was like, she's curving you, dog. And that nigga like swore up and down like he thought that shit was hilarious. Dude. It's it's comedy, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm saying though, you was like, ah nigga, you trash, you should have did this. So I'm like, bro. No, let's have a let's let's have a conversation, dog. Because <laughs> not a dry one. <laughs> because yeah, no, nah, I wish I wish a female was here, bro. I wish a female. Yeah, was here. we we'll definitely bring it. We'll run this back. But I I felt her to an extent until you showed me like I think some previous the shit. previous shit, and then that's when and I was it, like, and it Whoa. goes back further though. Okay, I, that's why I was like, well, so to an extent, I feel it. Okay, this is just me personally. I'm not I'm not hitting nobody up personally with the W I D or uh, hey or anything like that. But I don't ever send that though. Might be because you know I'm in a relationship, whatever. But I don't think even like a single version of me. I'm if I'm hitting you, if I'm if I'm hit you in a text, I'm I'm about to get straight to the meat of you know uh, what I'm saying. Like I think I think that that's. I think that's probably what she probably would have preferred. That's probably what most women prefer for real is like just kind of skip the small talk. You know, this is a side note. Women be on some, they be on some some shit, dog. They be like, if you want to fuck, then that's all you have to say. Imagine if a nigga really said that. Niggas, exactly. <laughs> niggas, <laughs> niggas getting, that nigga's getting dubbed. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to fuck. That's it. <laughs> then you're never gonna hear from her again. Never. Nigga. <laughs> You blocked. <laughs> but anyway. On social media too. <laughs> so, so anyway. But anyway, yeah. Just I told Steve, I was like, dog, you're not getting to the point. But you know, he's sending me the message. He's like, dog, am I tripping? Like, she's saying that I can't hold a conversation. And, and, and from first look, I'm like, dog, you just not getting you you're not getting to the point, dog. She just wants you to, you know, don't say you can't hit her with the what you're doing. Uh, I didn't hit her with that though. What you doing? Sitting here, this is all paraphrasing. I'm not gonna uh, sitting here watch TV. Oh yeah, what you watching? Like that's small talk. Like you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Hey, next weekend I'm free. This time you want to go check out this? It's a little spot I want to take you to. Blah 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 blah. Whatever, whatever. That type of shit is. That's some shit that's like, oh okay. 
now you started a conversation that somebody they have no choice but to be engaged in the conversation. But this nigga showed me one text that did not it, it required more than one word, and she still found a way to put two words in the motherfucking. Name. <laughs> nah, nigga, one. <laughs> I forgot nigga, what it's like. everything. <laughs> oh yeah, what do you like to eat? What you what kind of food you fuck with? Everything. 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 She eat tofu, ass, everything. <laughs> <laughs> nigga Steve missing out. <laughs> nigga said I'm missing out. Nah, bro. She nah, she she was she was whack, but it was just like it was one of them things where it's just like, man, she can't be this whack. Just let me just get in person. Yeah. But nah, she was whack. Mm-hmm. Like she was super and Vern was like clowning and laughing at me. And I'm like, bro, she's whack. Like, nigga, you not seeing? And then I had to send him some other shit. He was like, Oh yeah, she's trash, bro. Oh yeah, definitely. No, I mean, and to me, I just don't understand why people like. I'm I'm just glad I'm not on the scene, dog. I don't see how single niggas can do it because it's it takes so much fucking work. It do, it takes so much fucking work, and and to deal with like one word responses and shit and just be and then ha- and have that mentality but, 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 of like I just need to get bro, in front of you- and then it, it, it's money from her. And you never gonna get the opportunity to because she's stuck in her ways like on that. Like you know what the you know what I think the real issue might have been, Steve, on some real shit, dog. What? She's hung on another nigga. Some other nigga getting books. <laughs> Some other nigga. She over here saying, She pop out every now and then to tell Steve she eat ass, but she going back to. <laughs> <laughs> she going back in the other nigga giving that nigga books. Nigga, the most she would talk niggas when she was sending me invites to play the iTunes, the I- Apple games. What? <laughs> she be getting mad and shit because I'm winning. playing eight ball. <laughs> she get mad and shit because I'm winning. I'm bored at work. I'm just playing the shit. Uh, this nigga beating the shit out of her. Ah, she be like, this is my game right here. Be like, nigga, I ain't never played this shit. I'm going to bust your ass down. <laughs> and then she running it back. Like, it's the most... But then nigga had try to have a real conversation. Hold on, dog. Was y'all playing like the word games and shit? Nah, just a little uh, like... She definitely playing the word games, nigga. She don't know too many. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> said all the 12 words to speak. How you get a number? That's what I want to know. Like, how does that even happen? Bruh. Like, what are you... Like, shit, man. Like, I don't even... Fam, trying to talk to her was like pulling teeth. And I hate chicks like that where you trying to talk to them and it's like pulling teeth. Oh, that's just... It was like... Like, you can, you can hit me with the what you're doing... But you know I'm gonna hit you back with something or and I don't never say what you doing. I'd be like, what you up to? Uh, Nigga, that's the same doing? thing. Don't matter. What you doing is trash. W I D. I don't never. I don't use that anyway. I don't text three letters or. Nigga, no matter how you put it, H-R-U. that still ain't no. It, what's the difference? No, it's the same thing. But just I'm just be, saying. But I don't understand why you just don't be like. Bro, but you, but uh, stranger you, things come out next week. But nigga, you you seen the text? Like we already had something in motion. Like that's, yeah. that's when you said she was trash. Yeah, I'm still the I still think the opportunity like holds that, itself open for you to. But I'm saying like be nigga, in a situation with the way she like was that. like a nigga would have just hit her up on that day like hey we uh we going here like I I, I should have just not said nothing else to her. She would be like no, nah she be, <laughs> nah she be like address. Hey nigga, she was probably like that in person too. <laughs> so did you have a good night? Yes. She fucking uh <laughs> she fucking buddy doll, nigga. I'm Chucky, bro. I'm niggas and <laughs> fucking say two words. <laughs> and nigga said, It's me. I'm homies. <laughs> I I wouldn't want to wear this one, dog. Even after like I seen it and I agree with Steve. Yeah, the girl old girl was dry. She had a nerve calling my nigga dry. You know what I'm saying? She was kinda she was a little whack for that. She was nah, a little she whack. Said, she said, why do you randomly text me? Hey, you want to get into that part? Because this nigga Steve got mad. <laughs> but nah, this nigga pissed off. Nah, yeah. Hold on, Steve. <laughs> I want to have to punch out again, dog. <laughs> why? <laughs> this nigga said, I'm still going to like her pictures. <laughs> she blocked shit out of that nigga. <laughs> hey, she was mad as fuck. Ryan was like, what she look like? I try to go to her Instagram and send it to her. <laughs> no post yet. Yeah, no. <laughs> no post yet. I was like, oh, damn, this bitch mad for real. Block the nigga. Hey, no, and it's I- funny, I had just watched her story like earlier that morning. Cause it's like, you know how when you wake up, you get on your phone and shit, you just be on IG before you get up and get in the shot, take care of your business. Yeah. I seen that shit. I sit on the toilet for about 30. Yeah, nah, but nah, she she uh nah, she wasn't she wasn't nothing to trip off of. It was just like a nigga. Done had a number for a year, 
and be talking to each other on IG and shit. That's what's wrong with niggas, off, man. Off post, like, you know what I'm saying? On post and shit, story yeah. shit. That's what's wrong with you niggas, though, man. Nigga had to, this nigga you couldn't take the L. You, what? What L? Yeah, I'm just saying, like, not necessarily, not necessarily the you L, but but, but like, in, no but no, L. no, no. I'm saying, but like accepting the challenge. Oh, she only want to hit me with one word responses. Wait till nah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it was no, definitely no, like, no, no. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get no, her in person. That. Get yeah. the gun of the fuck out of here. But nah, I, I disappeared on her a minute ago, and it's like, <laughs> you can't disappear on somebody who give you nigga, one word she, response. She nigga, can, she's bro. half visible her damn self. <laughs> nigga, that's when I and then then we then we hop then we started talking again like after six months, and I mean talking, nigga, texting. Yeah. Or she started texting one words again. Yeah. She hit Steve up with a hi. <laughs> nah, it wasn't even that. I just had her number still and hit her up. No. No. Like I said, I told my nigga Steve, I was like, look, man, you ain't got to go through this. <laughs> nigga said, why'd you? Nigga said, nigga, I'm mad that you. <laughs> I, I told her, I was like, nigga, I don't never want to see no shit like this from you again. Man. And I was like, why? Nigga said, cuz. <laughs> I can't even. <eat. laughs> <laughs> we ain't got to get into that. Thing is, just know nigga ain't got to go through that. That's it. Yeah, nigga chose to. Like, well, I was pissed. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck are you dealing with this for? Nigga said, I mean, it's been six months. Nigga, for what? Nigga said, nigga thread long than a motherfucker. It look like a, I'm not gonna, it don't look like a book on one side, but it's thick on one side and just one word, two words here and there on the other. I sent you three pictures, nigga. This nigga talking about the thread was thick. Nigga, you don't know how long the thread was? Nigga, I, hey, nigga, I saw enough, dog. I saw enough to just be like, dog, why the fuck would you deal with this? Nigga, if you seeing three screenshots, and the consistency, like like <laughs> on the average, blue. it shows, nigga. It's the gray, about, the gray getting, is one word, nigga. The blue is uh, more than one. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm getting at. That shit, how shit average 1.3 words on one side. This nigga Steve, you know, he he trying to give us some conversation yeah, on the other I'm side. She still called a nigga dry. But I mean, trying I, to put on, I'm trying to put on my back, bro. Take us to the finals. Yeah, yeah. I just think that maybe if you was like, you know. Maybe maybe if you try to talk about <laughs> this nigga's ignorant. Maybe if you try to like just talk about I don't know, nigga, constellation or something. I don't know the off season, huh? Talk about the stars. Hey, they love the stars. Girls love stars and horoscopes and shit. You know, talk about the WNBA. You know, she probably she probably give <laughs> she probably give that nigga more than one word. <laughs> Tarazi. <laughs> plus, hey, plus, bro, I hate chicks like. You, you you know what's weak when you fucking request a chick on IG when they page is private, mm-hmm. and then when you get to their page, it ain't nothing but fucking memes. Mm-hmm. Why trash. they page private with memes? Trash. She was one of them. Mm. Big memes. Page private. We got Story, memes on there. Stories, memes. All the memes, memes is about a nigga. She blocked. He can't even see the memes. Nigga, son hiding in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't seen his son. <laughs> yeah, she was a. Uh, yeah, she was whack, man. She was an army chick. Damn. Might not ever talk to an army chick again, man. Might have ruined it for y'all. <laughs> Any army chicks listening, man? Oh man, they lost out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about what do you think is about to happen on Sunday, dog, with the off season? All the free agents, all the you know what I'm saying? Uh I don't know, bro. I'm ready though. Not be at work refreshing Reddit like a motherfucker, dog. Trying to see what's going on. My yeah. man is just sat right, right next to me. I know a nigga be like, damn, this motherfucker is always on NBA. <laughs> <laughs> nigga be sitting right next to my ass. I'll be on that shit. That's it. So I saw a tweet. Somebody said, the Lakers traded D'Angelo Russell to free up space to sign D'Angelo Russell. <laughs> it's a nigga magic, bro. <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> hey, did you see him? Did you see Magic's quote yesterday? Nah, what'd he say? Do how he's mature now. He's like, Who? he. he D-Lo? Yeah, he needs he can come back. <laughs> nigga just got caught in the airport with some weed. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said he's mature now. Yeah, he's like he, he's like he done grew up. He can come back now. <laughs> I'll be damn. Ain't that some shit? He can come back now. <laughs> nigga done took his lumps. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga magic is trash, dog. <laughs> Did Mag- magic trash. ain't got his job back, do he? Hell no. Nah, well, what the fuck is he talking about? Why is he saying that nigga, anything? That nigga's gonna talk, bro. That's what he do does. I'll be damn. In my <laughs> damn, literally, like when I say that, I go to I go to the Reddit nigga holler. Magic Johnson is putting more effort into running the Lakers now than he did when he actually <laughs> ran the Lakers. But that's real <laughs> shit though, for real. What the hell? Magic Johnson lists role players Lakers should pursue if they do not land the All Star, and I guess dude actually has some good ass takes because that nigga signed all them niggas last year. 
They couldn't shoot. Nigga said the Knicks was going from looking at their first little playoff contention to showing interest in Julius Randle. Who? The Knicks? <laughs> yes. Man, the Knicks is about to sign Randle Cousins. <laughs> Nigga was about to have him. Nigga's about to bring Canner back. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, dudes already there. Kevin Knox. Yep. God bless. That's horrible. Nah, nah, for real though. I'm excited though. I love the NBA offseason, dog. The offseason. I love it, is, bro. Yes, dog. It's I just so it. much. Like, the NBA got so much storytelling, dog. It's just like wrestling. For Nigga, real. That shit's like a fucking. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, 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 yeah, it's everything. It's, really it's got a storyline. It's crazy. And that shit lasts the entire summer. It's crazy. It's going to last all July. Like, niggas is going to just be switching teams and getting signed and getting traded. Yeah. Yeah. It's always just a random ass trade that happens. Like, yeah, I, ha- I hate them. Like, I don't like the. I don't want the the random ass. Like, I like. I fuck with Mike Conley. Don't get me wrong, but <sighs> come on. Yeah, that. Well, yeah, that already happened. Yeah, that's that's, yeah, a, that's, that's, that's a yeah yeah. I don't say don't get me wrong. It's, I mean, but it's like you know we looking at these names over here, and then these niggas over here get traded. It's like I mean that's not blockbuster enough for me. Uh, I'm on blockbuster. I'm ready. I think. I mean, I, don't, I, I think, think it's kind of. I seen be, that they talk about the Clippers trying to get uh, Clay and Kawhi. <laughs> niggas don't even have money for two players. The Clippers supposed to be getting everybody. <laughs> you, ain't, you never know, man. That shit. I don't know. Now they, they, they talk about Kawhi. Man. Kawhi is considering staying. Yeah, they say, dude. You know that big ass plane Drake got? Yeah. They say he signed a deal with that same airline. Oh, it's a wrap. That's a wrap. A nigga signed a deal with the guy. He about to get his plane and fly straight to L.A. Yeah, like that's, that's what they said. It was like dude could fly just back and forth to L.A. whenever he want to. God damn. Yeah, I think uh, I think he gonna stay. I think KD going to Brooklyn. I think uh, Kyrie going to Brooklyn. I think the uh, I don't know who the hell the Lakers is gonna get. They talking about D'Lo. My uncle talked to uh, he talked to D'Lo's pops yesterday. He said uh, he said D'Lo's pops told him it's between the Pacers and Lakers. Where he where he gonna go? I think I said that in the chat. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. I like yeah. to I like to see the Lakers. But I think it's gonna come down to trying to money a, though. I think, of, I think they can give him more the Pacers, so he probably gonna go to the Pacers. Yeah, don't. I mean, you got Anthony Davis and LeBron James. What more do you need? All you need all you need to do is surround them with with the with the three and D guys that LeBron. But they got Kuzma get. too, though. Everybody keep forgetting about Kuzma. He could yeah. be the third. He could be the third cat. You don't need. I mean, but do you need a big three though? You don't necessarily need it. Like you just all all, if, all you can, if you can get Kawhi, you get Kawhi. If you can get Kyrie, you get Kyrie. I mean, yeah, definitely. But like, but don't aim for them though. I mean, yeah, nah, load aim, up. definitely aim for it. No, nah, nah, if they no role players ain't going hey, nowhere. They, they role players. They there if you need them. They there if you need them. But don't depend on them. And then all of a sudden, oh fuck, man! Now we ain't got no damn bench. You know, I, I, I'm just thinking that. <clears throat> I'm just thinking that they just need to start. You know, back when, like, when he had the the Kyle Corvers and he 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 had the Ray Allen's and shit like that. Those are the those you you need them them three ball players. You know, when, when that's what LeBron likes to play with. Well, yeah, they already said Corvers coming to L.A. Oh, uh, Corvers coming. Yeah, he's from oh, California. Man, it's about to be a hot summer. Yeah, they said Corver. They they mentioned in Jr. Now he's about to get released on Sunday. <laughs> Jr. Smith coming to the Lakers. <laughs> Mello. <laughs> that's nigga niggas left. not winning a title. <laughs> Man, they can win, bro. What do you mean? No. Somebody posted an interesting stat earlier. They said that uh, something about Vince Carter. It was like Vince Carter, at the same age as Melo, was on a roster and proceeded to play seven more seasons. I think Melo might be 34 or something, and Vince Carter's 41 mm. or six more seasons. Yeah. Something like that, bro. Yeah. And uh, Shit. Uh, I was like, damn, and they fucking blackballed Melo at the league last year. And this nigga Vince Carter is coming back for his supposed last season next year. It's gonna be forty. He's gonna be forty two. Yeah, this nigga Vince Carter played with Dale Curry and played against Steph Curry. Yeah, <laughs> that's nuts. That's crazy. The Nuggets, nigga, we we straight, dog. We got we got bowl bowl. I was listening to, to Bill Simmons earlier. He was talking about how he he didn't understand why y'all didn't get in the Anthony Davis sweepstakes. When, don't know, don't know. Big names want to come to Denver, dog. Right? You see, I, the one All Star we get was Paul fucking Millsap. Joker to AD would have been nasty though. It would have been, it would have been dope. But I mean, it ain't gonna be, it's a that's an organic organization. You know what I'm saying? They they not going That niggas got Michael Porter. What the fuck is he about to do? Nigga about to come out there back gonna snap like a cracker. 
nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, man, we ain't gonna just keep sitting her talking. No, nah, yeah, no, nah, we man. got yeah, man. So we'd actually get out of here for real. What uh, you got anything else? You look out for the uh, let's just start plugging some shit, dog. Like, look, you don't have to necessarily. I ain't got nothing else like as a topic or nothing, but look out for the store, man. Look out for the goods. The goods coming. Get a merch. Yeah, stay stay tuned for the for the announcement for the AirPods. Um, <clears throat> yes. Well, that's today. When y'all listen to this shit, yeah, it'll be tonight. Yeah, or today. Whatever. Whenever y'all listen. We got. If you're a first day listener, like most of the. If you're a first man, I, I, fuck I, you. If you're a first, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hope a first day listener wins for real. That would be, hey, that would be nice. Then you go get the podcast, like, gotcha. Uh, get the podcast, get the AirPods. Yeah, the AirPods. But, uh. Gotcha. You're gonna yeah, listen to nothing but fucking Polo G in the motherfucking AirPods. So I'll be mad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga stupid. But yeah, man, we about to get out of here. Follow us on. Instagram, New Pie Flow Podcast. Follow us on uh, Twitter, New Pie Flow underscore pod. Uh, subscribe on iTunes. Rate. Uh, follow us on Spotify. Follow us on iHeartRadio. We on damn near everything, so go ahead and follow us on all that shit. We're going to catch y'all next week. We out. New Pie. New, 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 new